It is the final day of the primary campaign. Tomorrow, Kansas City voters will narrow the field of candidates from six down to two in the race for Kansas City mayor. Chris Hernandez is leading our political coverage. He joins us now. Hey, Chris. Hi, Elizabeth. This is it. And today, there was one final chance for voters to size up the candidates side by side. This election may become a referendum on the leadership and the vision of the current mayor. In this final debate, leadership was the first issue with a question about Kansas City Mayor Mark Funkhauser's relationship with the city council. When they were right, I went with them. When they were wrong, I fought like heck uh, against them. Other candidates took the mayor to task for competing with rather than building cooperation with the council. Leadership's a, more, a lot more about we than I. I think if you're living in that kind of an environment over four years and you're constantly being told that you're wrong or that you're, you've lost, after a while you start fighting back because you want to win. But how would others lead? Sly James says his experience as a mediator will bring people together. The essence of leadership in this form of government is isn't to be the smartest person in the room with every answer every time. Deb Herman says she would lead with less drama. She wants the public to help her create a community vision. The cities that are passing us by have one. Indianapolis, Omaha, we need to set our own priority list and then find those ways to fund it. Mike Burke's vision includes the arts and attracting young people to the city. I've proposed a mayor's office on the arts that will be an economic development tool to promote Kansas City. Jim Rowland says his leadership would bring attention to crime in the urban core. It's a moral outrage that we turn a blind eye to what's happening on the east side and we act as though it doesn't affect our life. And Henry Klein says he would use a business approach to everything, even crime. That debate aired live on KCUR, the public radio station. It was part of the Up to Date show, and I'll be on that show Wednesday, the day after the election, to discuss the results. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. Now, polls are open tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Our election webcast starts at 8 on NBCActionNews.com. You'll be able to weigh in on the election, plus see up-to-the-minute results, and our political experts will break everything down. Then we'll bring you results on NBC Action News at 10.